Now, WGEL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning. It is 618. We're off to a mild end to the week. Temperatures today, tomorrow, they're going to be in the 40s. And then this weekend, we could even see 50s on Sunday. So rain is likely Saturday into Sunday. I'll show you that on the predictor coming up. That's our next weather system. And then we should be dry early next week. Let's check out the forecast for today. News 8 Storm Team forecast calls for areas of fog this morning. That has been improving the past couple of hours, though. And then gradual clearing. We'll see partly sunny skies through the afternoon, partly cloudy this evening. Overall, a much quieter day and warmer compared to yesterday. Tonight, we drop down to just about 30 degrees, partly cloudy skies, still a bit brisk, winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. And tomorrow, partly sunny, seasonable, 42 to 46 degrees. Here's a live look in Harrisburg. And just a few hours ago, you couldn't see a thing. Visibility has improved. It's 32 degrees, and that's the bad news this morning. Temperatures are hovering right around freezing. So please use extreme caution. Any untreated surface like sidewalks, parking lots, driveways will be icy. Right now, uh, visibility is getting better. We're still seeing some areas of fog reduce visibility east of the Susquehanna River. Temperature-wise, 32s across the board. 133 there in Lancaster, a 31 in York. We are hovering near freezing. Now this afternoon, with all of the ice buildup that's on trees, branches, watch out, it could be falling with winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then as we head into tonight, winds diminishing should just be quite light tomorrow. Here's Super Doppler 8. No precipitation showing. We might have a little patchy drizzle, though. This is the front that has been pushed off to uh, the east, and we are now looking for high pressure to build in behind it. Let's take a look. It becomes breezy this afternoon. The high moves across the Great Lakes into New England and keeps us dry tonight and tomorrow. But tomorrow, there will be some rain to our south. We're going to see some cloud cover from that. Eventually, that rain does work northward on Saturday as a warm front advances. So we should be seeing some showers late Saturday, some light rain late Saturday, and that will continue into Sunday. But boy, Sunday could get very warm before a cold front comes through. We could hit 56 degrees early next week. We're back to more seasonable conditions. It'll be a bit brisk, windy on Monday, Tuesday, 42 and mostly sunny. And Wednesday, there could be a mix or there could be some rain still far out. So we'll keep a watch fly on next Wednesday for our next chance of wintry weather. I'll be honest, I'm a little sick of the mix. <laughs> <laughs> and happening on a Wednesday. Yeah, right. Yeah, there you go. That is true. Yeah, back to back Wednesdays. But I'll tell you what, yesterday, you know, with all of the freezing rain, we got uh, in some spots quarter inch of ice. Yep. So mm -hmm. that's going to take a while to melt. You just want to be extremely cautious this sure. morning. And I, right. I did have to shovel. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. I was hoping I wouldn't, but I had enough yeah. snow that I had to shovel. Sure, yeah. Sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you.